Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Beta FPV HX100 Micro Brushless Toothpick Style Racing Quadcopter. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs and then head outdoors and test it out. The Beta FPV HX100 is available with multiple radio receivers options and you can also get a plug and play version which doesn't come with the receiver so you can simply add your own one. The version that I'm going to check in this video is the one that is bundled with the TBS Crossfire Nano Receiver. Inside the box, along with the quadcopter, you're getting a single set of 65mm bi-bladed props and another set of 48mm four-bladed props. The motor shaft diameter is 1.5mm and the props that I recommend to use are the 65mm ones, so make sure to buy some extra because you don't want to be grounded because you simply lost the propeller. In terms of specs, the HX100 is using 1103 8000 kV motors which can handle 2 and 3S type of batteries. On the front, protected by this pretty robust canopy, we can find the Runcom Nano 2 FPV camera. Under the canopy, we can find a 48 channels VTX that supports smart audio and has a selectable output strength of 25 and 200 mHz. The linear antenna is soldered to the VTX. And underneath we can find an F4 flight controller which has a built-in BLLES 12 ampere 4-in-1 ESC and comes pre-flashed with Betaflight 3.5.3. On the bottom of the quadcopter you can find the radio receiver, next to it a micro USB port for configuring the flight controller and the battery is secured using a velcro strap. Finally the HX100 is using an XT30 battery connector with a pre-soldered capacitor and 18 AWG battery leads. In terms of dimensions, the wheelbase of the frame is about 103mm. The distance between the right motor and the left one is 74mm. And the distance between the back motors and the front ones is 74mm as well, so the quadcopter features a true X pattern. It features a unibody bottom carbon fiber plate with a thickness of 2mm. The weight of the HX100 without any battery is 46.9 grams, so it's pretty light. The total weight, including a 2S 300mAh LHV battery, is 67.5 grams. And the weight, including a 3S 300mAh LHV battery, is 73 grams. These batteries are the ones that are recommended to be used with this quadcopter, and you can expect about 3.5 minutes of flight time. The next thing I've done is to head outdoors and test the HX100 using 2 and 3S LiPo batteries. I can tell you that it flies great, but there are two things that I recommend to do. First of all, I recommend to put some sticky tape between the camera and the canopy, because otherwise the camera is going to wobble inside, and even though I secured the screws all the way down, it didn't help, so adding some extra foam at the top is going to prevent the camera from moving inside the canopy. Second of all, by default, the motor idle throttle is set to 20%, which is okay for 2S type of batteries, but when using 3S type of batteries, when arming, the quadcopter is just going to fly away, so I recommend to set this value to 10%, which works fine with both 2 and 3S type of batteries. Overall, I can tell you that the HX100 is very fun to fly, it's suitable both for beginners and advanced pilots, and if you are in the market for a new toothpick style quadcopter, you should definitely consider it. In addition, I also like the fact that the canopy is pretty robust, especially comparing with the Beta 85 Pro 2, which has a pretty fragile canopy. And if you are debating which version to get, I think that if you want to fly indoors, the Beta FEV 85 Pro 2 is going to be a better option, but if you're going to fly mainly outdoors, you should go with the HX100. Now I'm going to show you the flight footage, so I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions about the Beta FEV HX100, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos, and goodbye.